Hello everyone, my name is Tony Picciano, CEO of Neurotris Incorporated, manufacturer of the Neurotris facial sculpting and body toning systems. And today, in this demonstration, we're going to discuss a revolutionary new patented technology that Neurotris have come up with no other machine or device in the microcurrent industry it was able to achieve. And it is constant waveform morphology. And what constant waveform morphology is, it's the, abil the ability to maintain a perfect signature at very low current levels, like micro, nano, and pico levels. Because if we can maintain a perfect waveform at these low levels of energy, then we're able to achieve maximum results that we're looking for with the system. Just to give you a little background on what happens with microcurrent when it gets applied to uh, the skin, is that the body impedes the signature because the body also has natural currents and energy which combats or causes the signatures to go into saturation. And if the machine doesn't have the ability to compensate for these body impedances, then we can really lose the magical signature doing the uh, treatment or doing the effect and we're not really going to be getting a 100% effect no more. What we did at Neurotris Incorporated was come up with the technology is able to maintain that signature. And today at this demonstration, we're going to give you a visual of how that works. Using some of the most advanced equipment on the market today, which is the Fluke Model 190 series, which is a digital oscilloscope. And what an oscilloscope is, it's pretty much an x-ray machine that shows you the workings of what's going on in these machines. Not too many manufacturers will uh, allow you to see what's going on because of the technology that they have. Uh, maybe it's not uh, quite as advanced as our machines. So we're going to actually bring comparisons out on the table for you today. And we're going to show you what a simple microcurrent system compared to the Neurotris SX 3500 facial rejuvenation system with the constant waveform technology. So for this demonstration we're going to connect both machines the Neurotris SX 3500 and the Perfector microcurrent single channel system to our oscilloscope which is going to give you the uh, signature, the picture of what the machine is doing. We're going to connect it to the computer and display it onto the screen for you so the audience can see uh, the exact uh, picture of the signature and what it's doing during the treatments. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the perfector. We're going to start with the perfector in this demonstration and we're going to use a classic uh, signature for uh, firming and toning in this machine. So I just started the machine. I'll refresh the screen. Okay. I'm going to bring you up to the big screen. We were displaying everything on our TV monitor here for you to give you kind of an image of what's going on uh, with these machines. And this is their uh, typical firming program that they use is a basic sine wave is what they're doing at a certain frequency that causes this effect and what's really important is the amplitude or how, how much energy or current that they're giving you to achieve this and what machines have done in the past in microcurrent was to give a high current or high voltage because the machine is unable to maintain the waveform. So it starts off very high because what happens is when you put it on the skin, it begins to fade away and they hope that you can get, you can keep it in a normal level when it does fade away. So they calculate that by giving you a high, a high voltage. And if you look at the screen here, that this machine is a, a pretty much close to 25 volts, maybe a little bit more than 25 volts. On, on for this particular device. Starts off really high. And we at Neurotris don't believe that you should give that much energy in the beginning um, to achieve the results. So that pr for this particular device starting this high, when you apply the probes to the skin, 
the, the waveform would begin to fade away. Now, using a basic single channel pro positive negative, as if we were going to do a treatment on this face, we would apply a conductive gel. So I'm going to do that to do an exact comparison. So I'm going to put them on my hands, skin, the face, it's the same thing. I'm going to take it and I'm going to grab the probes. And you can see we're connected to the oscilloscope because obviously if I short it out, this waveform dies. Can you see that? And which is what it's supposed to do if you short the probes out. You short it out and you get nothing. I am now going to apply it to my skin, which being the hands, and I want you to watch with the oscilloscope. Can you see that? Zoom in on that oscilloscope. We pretty much lose that signature. It almost goes pretty close to zero. I'm going to capture that on our computer display. And there you have it on the display. Maybe you can look at that, and I'm going to go ahead and point this out to you. Now, if you look on our display, you can see what happened to the signature. You lost the waveform. It's almost not there. And you see you're pretty close to the zero line on the amplitude of the uh, signature. So, on a true device that... Um, wants to maintain that signature, you, you should be able to still maintain that waveform. Because maintaining the waveform is what's doing the treatment or giving you the effect. Very important to keep that waveform constant. Very, very important. As you can see here, how much of the treatment are you really getting? Or how much of the effect are you really getting? Maybe 10 or 20% because we lost most of it due to the normal body's impedances. What I'm going to do next is connect the oscilloscope to the SX3500 facial rejuvenation system. I'm going to show you the differences of what this technology in, can do. I'm going to plug in. I'm going to set the amplitude a little higher on the oscilloscope so we can see what's going on. Okay, let's display this on the monitor here so all the audience can see this. Okay, there it is. Now, taking a look at that, you can see that we are trying to simulate uh, a similar uh, program. Uh, to compare, to do a simple, uh, similar comparison, and we're using a, one of the four channels on our machine just so we can display it. But the point I'm trying to make is, look at the amplitude of this signature. What we find for this particular program, the efficacy or the desired effect of what we're trying to achieve is at this level less than two volts, and in a current that we're at a current level that we're trying to keep very low in the micro nano peaker range to achieve the result. But with our machine, we don't have to start out at 25 or 30 or any higher voltage. We know that's the effective range. But what we decided to do with constant waveform morphology was build in a device into the system that maintains that level, no matter what the skin impedance is. I'm going to do the same demonstration for you that I did with the other machine. I'm going to grab the probes. And if I touch them together, what happens? Take a look at that on the oscilloscope. The waveform goes away as it should, because if you short the probes, a short is a short, and that's zero. And that's the true effect. So I'm doing this demonstration to show you that I am truly connected to the oscilloscope. OK, now, I'm going to simulate applying the probes to the skin. And I'm, of course, going to use my hands. The skin is skin. So I'm going to also apply some conductive gel, just like I did on the other demonstration. And I'm going to grab the probes. Voila. And what do you see? Can you zoom in on that oscilloscope? This is really amazing. I want you to see this. I'm going to go ahead and display this on the screen. And here we go. What do you see? You see virtually the same 
signature. Maybe one or two percent difference as compared to from the skin and without the skin, but the point I'm trying to make, you still have the magical signature that you started off with. So now we're doing a treatment and an effective one. Very powerful. So now that we are able to achieve constant waveforms at all body impedances, we can now add to the machine another feature where it makes it user adjustable. The, the machine becomes user adjustable so that the esthetician or the user can uh, increase and decrease within that range, you see. I'm going to have you zoom into this oscilloscope. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So I can increase the amplitude or decrease the amplitude anywhere in the range I want to be at. Can you see that? I'll do it one more time. Increase the amplitude and decrease the amplitude. Okay? You now have the ability to make adjustments on different type of skin types because everybody has different body impedances. Now this machine is able to maintain this because it's a very unique system of reading back the body's feedback. So it takes a measurement. There's a built-in computer that monitors the body's impedance, takes that reading and maintains that signal and sends a feedback back so it maintains the appropriate signal during the treatment. There is no other machine on the market that will do this. You know why? Because I'm the only one showing you this. I can make the comparisons to any machine. They're all the same. You can bring them all out. We've hit a new breakthrough in microcurrent technology for facial rejuvenation and body sculpting. Very powerful. And the results are amazing. You really have to try one of these machines in action for yourself to see what you're going to get with this. If you have any questions or want to read up more information on our technologies, you can uh, look us up on the website at neurotrist.com and you feel free to email me or Patricia or anybody will be able to give you further information on this. All right, thank you very much for this demonstration.